Okay, in our first video, we took a look at the pencil tool. We took a look at the fill and the gradient, or sorry, and the stroke. And just looked at how to draw some really basic shapes with our pencil tool, how to change the fill color and the stroke, really make a nice uh, shape, really basic shape that we drew by hand. One of the places, though, that Illustrator really shines is in your ability to create some shapes, just some basic shapes, and then combine them together to make some more complex shapes. So if we come on over to this rectangle, you'll notice that it has this triangle in the bottom right-hand corner of it, which again, as we know from Photoshop, means that there's tools that are hidden behind it. So if we click and hold down on it, you'll see that we've got the rectangle tool. We have the rounded rectangle tool, we've got the ellipse tool, the polygon tool, star tool, and the flare tool. We're going to just start off with the rectangle tool, and we're going to just go ahead and just draw a simple rectangle in here. You see that my fill is white, my stroke is black, because that's what I had it set there to. Now, this is another kind of important tool that we'll need to take a look at, which is called the selection tool. So that's this arrow. And this is going to be a tool that we're going to use quite a bit, so um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's going to allow us to select and do a number of different things. One of the cool things with Illustrator is that you've got a number of different points that you can edit and work with. The points on the inside, on these circles, if you pull those in, it allows you to round the corners, and you'll see that it actually rounds all the corners together. Okay. So I'm actually going to undo that just by hitting Command-Z. I also, I can, you know, shrink my rectangle if I wanted to by grabbing any of these different anchor points on the edges and doing those. I could also do the same thing on the corners and scale my rectangle. Or if I come up uh, just above the top of the rectangle, you'll see I get the this arrow uh, that has the side to side. It's kind of bent. That means I can rotate it. So I can rotate my rectangle all around and I can drop it and make it a kind of a different shape. So I have a lot of options as far as what I can do with my rectangle. But one of the cool things that you can do with Illustrator is you have the ability to combine shapes together, which is really going to be kind of a cool feature and a cool thing that we can do. So I'm going to come back over to my rectangle tool, and this time though I'm going to choose a polygon tool. And I'm going to just go ahead and start drawing a polygon. And you'll see that it starts me off drawing a triangle. Well, if I didn't necessarily want a triangle, I can just go over and I can hit my up and down arrows. And you'll see that it starts to change how many sides the shape is going to have. So I can really choose as many sides as I want it to have it, uh, my shape. But I think for now what I want to do, I actually just do want to actually just create a triangle. So I'm going to just create one like that. I'm going to come back over, click on my selection tool, and I want to I want to put this so that it kind of comes off the end of my rectangle. So I'm going to drag it up. I'm going to rotate it so that I've got kind of this straight edge on the end here, and then I'm going to move it there. I need to move it down a little bit. Now you'll be able to know when you have it centered because this green line is going to come up. And you'll see that in the middle of my rectangle there was a center dot and it now says that it's intersecting right at that center so if I drop it there I'll know that it's centered. Actually I think I want to make this just a little bit bigger though make that side a little bit bigger make that side a little bit bigger oops I think I made it too big though so I'm going to drag it down just a little bit And let me recenter it again, make sure it's on that line. And there we go. And that's pretty good, but I don't like that it still is hanging off the end there. Oops. So let's do that. And that's fine. Okay. Now, once I've got my shape on there, I can do another cool thing because I'm going to want to do the same thing over here. I'm going to want to do the same kind of triangle on the end of that. 
I don't necessarily have to recreate a triangle though and then you notice how long it took me to kind of get that shape the size that I wanted. What I can do is once I kind of clicked off of it, it's not selected, I can hit the option key of my keyboard and I can just drag that triangle over to the side and it creates a duplicate copy of that shape. So I can create the same shape very quickly and easily just by hitting option and then dragging it off and it will create a, a, a duplicate copy of the shape. Right now all I have to do is come down, oops, select that shape again, grab my little rotate button there, and I'm going to rotate it so that it looks just about like that. Move this out so that it's lined up. And there we go. I've got now I've got two triangles kind of on either side of my rectangle. Okay, so once I've kind of figured out how I want my shape, one of the cool things you can do with Illustrator is you can actually combine them together. So actually I think I want to move my triangles in just a little bit and this one to right about there and once I've kind of made my shape and the, the kind of the cool thing and one of the things I heard uh, somebody say with about Illustrator is that you don't uh, necessarily have to be able to draw well to use Illustrator. You just have to be able to think well to be able to use Illustrator. And I think that's really, uh, it's a really important thing. I want to combine these shapes to make one new shape. So I have to kind of be able to think about what I want that shape to look like in advance. So once I've kind of got an idea of what I want this to do, I'm going to take my selection tool and I'm going to drag a box around it and I'm going to come up to the window and I'm going to hit Pathfinder and you'll see then from here that I've got some options. I've got Unite, I've got Minus, the front, Intersect, Exclude. I'm going to come over here though and I'm going to hit Unite and when I do that you'll see that it's created this new shape. right? When I click on it, you'll see that it now has these different anchor points all the way around it. And it's kind of maybe this uh, banner shape that I've uh, made. So I was able to take kind of three separate shapes and combine them together to make one new shape. So that's your task that we want you to try uh, for today, is to take at least three shapes, combine them together somehow, to make one new shape. Okay? Alright, good luck.